Hey, Chip Kramer here from TripAdvice.com, your dating coach teaching you today how to make a woman miss you. Now, here is the deal. One of the reasons why I've decided to create this video is because I really want to hone in on the idea of not being needy. And that is one of the things that guys struggle with the most. You know, a guy who is new to the scene of dating and really excited to put all of these tips into action, you know, when they finally get a girl interested, their mind might be completely blown and they're like, wow, she's amazing, I really like her, and they might go overboard and just be needy and scare the girl away. So we don't wanna do this, so let's balance this all out. First, here's a very obvious one. You've heard this before, and hopefully this is intuitive. Do not respond right away to her text messages, okay? If she text messages you, if you guys are in a text conversation, just because she texts you doesn't mean you need to respond within 10 seconds. Give it some time. Now, you know, don't be ridiculous and wait maybe four hours. You know, respond uh, respectfully, uh, but you know, give it some time. She text messages you, give it 10, 15 minutes, give it a half an hour. The whole idea here is you need to be busy. We're gonna return to that concept in just a second. Now, also when it comes to text messaging, don't be the one to always initiate the text. Wait for her to text you, wait for her to start the communication. I don't want you to get into a routine where every single morning you wake up and say, hey, how are you, or, or good morning, you know? Let her be the one to initiate the text message. Really, I think at the end of the day, when it comes to you know getting into a relationship or getting into a dating relationship, it's probably best not to be texting all the time, all day. Hopefully, you end up on the phone with her or even more importantly, in person because that's where you two need to end up. I don't want you to have this crazy text message conversation all the time, all right? You guys should be meeting up, connecting physically in person with each other. Now to move along here, let's talk about phone calls. Of course, you start dating a girl, you're gonna be getting on the phone. I want you to be the one to end the phone call first. Always be the one to end the phone call first. Again, this is you saying, hey, I'm not needy, I have a life, I have other things going on, so you're gonna end the phone call first. Now remember, we're talking about a guy like you who's actually busy, has things going on, so all this stuff doesn't turn into games and it's just real life. Again, we'll get to that in a second. Here's another great thing you could do. I want you to induce FOMO, okay? Fear of missing out. So I want you to be sending her pictures of things that you're doing that's fun and cool. Now, be careful, don't do this all the time. If you're sending a text message every single day that you're doing cool stuff and you never invite her, she's gonna be like, what the hell is going on? But every once in a while, maybe once a week, send her a picture of something cool that you're doing. And she's gonna be like, oh, I wish I was with him doing that thing. So then eventually when you do invite her out to do something fun, she's gonna be even more excited that she gets to do it with you. Another way you could possibly craft this is, you know, posting cool stuff on your Instagram stories or Snap stories or Instagram or Facebook, you know, other social media to show that you're having a good time, you have a life and you have things going on. Here's another one, after the first date, don't set the second date for a couple of days, okay? It's okay on the first date to say, hey, we should hang out again, love to see you again, this was fun, all good stuff, but don't actually set the date for a couple of days. You know, you guys had this amazing first date or even amazing second date, you know, don't rush to, okay, well, next week let's do this, let's do this. Again, this is maybe borderline needy. We wanna back off from that, release some of that pressure, give her time to miss you, give her time to process how much fun she had with you and how she's attracted to you, wait one to two, or well not one, one, two to three to four days here in terms of setting up that second date. In terms of this dating relationship, if you really like this girl, you wanna take this further, only see her one to two times per week. This is huge, okay, this is huge. One to two times per week. Take it slow. You also might be dating other women to see you know, what's going on and see if you connect with other girls. That's fine, even better. See her once a week. So now you have it a little bit more spread out. And I'm saying maximum two times per week until you finally get into an actual committed relationship with her, okay? Only see her one to two times a week with some sparse texting in between. Why? Because the theme and the thesis of this video is you need to have a life. This is so crucial, so important. 
okay? I don't like having you playing these games. I want you to actually have things going on, things going on with friends, finding events and stuff to do, going to meetups, creating your own events. I want you to have a life. This is not only attractive, but also it's going to be easy for when she asks to have plans or she's texting, what are you up to? And you're like, oh, well, I'm busy. I'm doing this thing. You know, let's hang out another time. So you're actually doing something. Please work on this. This is so attractive. It's going to get you even further in your social life because you're actually doing things. But how do you get a girl interested in you in the first place? How does this all happen? How do you get her attracted to you and hooked on you? So you even get the possibility to be able to use some of the stuff that I'm talking about on this video, where you're gonna learn about how to do that right now. Here you go. Hey, what's going on, man? If you are watching this right now, that means that you are struggling with meeting and dating women and probably not just any women, but the ones that you're really attracted to, those ones that you really want, not the ones that you just want to settle with because that's what you think you can get. And listen, I totally get it. I totally get it. I was there once too. I was a very, very shy guy, a very nerdy guy who really only settled with what I could get. But now I'm at the point where I've really discovered and tapped into some of the secrets in terms of being able to meet and attract the women that are anywhere. I'm talking on the street, during the day, maybe at a bar or club or at night, anytime. And this is something that I really want to share with you. And you can do it too. A lot of guys, they, they just don't think that they have it in them. They think that, you know, they need a lot of money. They need to be, you know, really good looking guys, like actor model looking guys to be able to get the types of girls they want. But let me tell you, that is not true. In fact, I've helped guys all over the world be able to get the women that they really want. And the secret to doing it is really all about your vibe and your personality and the way that you display that with a woman. And I talk all about this in my program called Hooked. What Hooked is, is a video course that really breaks down what attraction is to a science. You need to understand how attraction really works because you probably have it all wrong right now. You probably think, like I said, you need a lot of money or looks or some kind of status to be some sort of celebrity to get the kinds of women that you want. But it's not true. You need to understand how to tap into attraction by understanding how to break it down to a science. And I've done that for you in this program. But that's not just all. What you need to learn is not only what attraction is, but how do you apply it? How do you make it part of you? How do you make it part of the person that you are so you can display your personality and your vibe out wherever you are to meet and attract the girls that you want? And I have some great techniques and I have an amazing, like a step-by-step -step system basically. You know, it's just like you watch the beginning, go all the way to the end, follow what I say, apply it, and then it starts to work for you. This is an entire video course teaching you exactly what to do with any girl you meet anytime. And it doesn't matter if you're looking for a relationship or you're looking for just you know, casual sex, one night stands, or if you're looking for a specific type of relationship, or maybe it's just you know she's your friend but you guys sleep together and that's it. It doesn't matter what you're looking for because attraction works the same way. It's all about how you apply it. And so that's what's all inside of Hooked, and I want you to check it out. All you gotta do is go to getterhooked.com. Go to that link, I'll put a description down below and you can see it right here on the screen. Go to getterhooked.com so you can learn more about this and get your hands on this program, and it's so affordable. I wanna get it into the hands of as many guys as possible. So check it out, getterhooked.com. Learn this system, learn what it takes, and it doesn't matter if you're shy, or you're short, or you're bold, or you think you're this big nerd. I've been able to help all types of guys be able to tap into that attraction, be able to create that vibe with any woman they meet, and it's happened over and over and over again. So don't forget to check out getterhook.com so you can see what it can do for you.